recently I sold the absolute piece of junk 2006 Honda Ridgeline that you can actually see on burnoutshow.com and I have a hilarious story to go along with that Ridgeline. Amazingly enough, I parked the car right in this spot, pretty much where I'm standing, maybe more towards the corner of my driveway, and I actually took my mom's car to work on a specific day, just by chance. I came home from work, and sure enough, I went down to my grandfather's shop, and he, he jokingly said, or what I thought was jokingly, he said, oh, uh, you should head home. There's a tree that fell on your truck. And I laughed it off. I said, oh, that's kind of funny. And he said, no, seriously, that's where your dad went. A tree fell on your truck. And I said, oh. And so I booked it out of there and I came home to a giant tree that had fallen directly onto the ridge line. I'll show some pretty hilarious pictures of that and the view from this area, from this camera angle almost, of the tree exactly on the ridge line. What's even crazier is that Tarpy and I went on an adventure in the woods up in New Hampshire and we found a wooden box that ultimately I wanted to keep. And so I had it in the bed of the ridge line. And that box alone, it was super old, but it actually was in good shape. But that box was so sturdy that it saved my truck in all aspects from being crushed. And so the trunk of the tree that came down actually landed on the box, did not even hit the um, bed of the ridge line at all. And then there was a massive branch that went over the truck and it just so happened to not shatter the sunroof, not even dent the hood or roof of the car. Like I said, I'll show you some pictures of me and my dad chopping it up in the driveway, but it is hilarious how the ridge line survived that story. Um, I think that the fleet section on um, our website actually doesn't do it justice of how gnarly that tree actually was and how much it was actually on the ridge line. And the box genuinely saved the entire car. Not that that car was worth a lot of money, but it saved it and I was able to drive it for another, oh geez, at least a year, year and a half in the future. So like I said, this is the exact spot it came down. We chopped up the tree, put it over in the woods. It was there for like three months chopped up and then I eventually burned all of the wood. But like I said, it was a giant tree that came directly down from there. Oh, probably about over 20 feet tall. And it came right onto the ridge line that was right about here in the driveway. So absolutely insane story. It was definitely um, something that I wanted to share with the channel because if you go on the fleet section of the website, it is hilarious looking at the pictures, especially because nothing bad happened to the car. So that's going to be all for this burnout extra. I hope you enjoyed. The pictures are awesome. So be sure to rewind and look at those if you want to as well. And if you want to know more about our crappy cars, check out the fleet section. That's an awesome place where we try to post as much as we can about the repairs and the products we use. But that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps support us as well as subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And until then, Hopefully we have no more incidents with trees on our cars, but um, that is the, the update for the Ridgeline, even though it has since been sold.